Hello, welcome back to Let's Play Infinite Resources 2020. So, yeah, in case you're wondering, yeah, we will fill it up eventually. Let's get started. Alright, so after playing around the other dimension, I found just tons of problems with cross-dimensional stuff. So, I ended up moving things back here. I have made a few changes to setups, and I made a few... I learned a few things I thought would be very important to share. Number one, uh, if you use an external storage, make sure there's a chunk loader right next to it. Not one chunk over, not in the 3x3 three three it's supposed to load, not, you know, in a big area if you use chicken chunks. Literally, right next to it. If you don't, this external storage is not going to get this drawer and you'll have to turn the system off and on or break replace the controllers to get it to work again. I don't know why that happens, but it does. So, very important to make sure the chunk loader at every external storage you have in the exact same chunk. So, once I got that, things started working a little bit better over here. So, that was nice. Alright, so, um... Because we have darkness in here, I had to protect the guys again, so I put a lamp up here to create, create light, put the barrier stones back. Uh, you do not want to put the barrier stones next to these guys, or the gulls will get trapped behind the melons. Just something to keep in mind. They just get stuck on there and can't move, and won't get off the conveyor belt. So... Um, as for this guy, I went ahead and put the cleanup tool on top so that he will be, you know, nice and clean from now on. Hopefully, anyway. Need to make more attention to filters. So, you know, I mean, we are generating flux all the time with this guy, so it's only 90% efficient, so, you know, 10% is going in the atmosphere is flux, so we're going to have to keep this going. You know, it shouldn't be too much, because we don't use that much of it, but still, it's there. Uh, the one nice thing about this setup is the glass prevents the trees from growing too tall, so they won't, uh, you know, dump stuff outside of the pickup area. So that's kind of nice. And with the pipe going up here and over, we won't have things laying on top of the pipe either. So, two good things for that. I went ahead and ended up using the barrier stone for the fences. Make sure you do not put anything on top of the barrier stone. So, like, niter. Don't put that on top of there. This machine, I put a brick on top so they couldn't climb over it. Now, the sheep and the cows, they couldn't get over this. The chickens, I think probably could. But the other animals are a bit too big, I think they couldn't get over that. But everything else probably could. So, don't put stuff on the barrier stones if you want them to, you know, stay where they are. So... Maybe fencing's better for this. I don't know. I thought I'd try it out, so just observation on what I've learned from trying things out. This is pretty much the same. Um, I decided to not go with greenhouse glass, mostly because it bumped right up into this guy. I didn't like the way that looked. I didn't feel like rebuilding him again. I rebuilt him like four times already trying things out, so just didn't feel like it. Um, I don't think he'd fit right here. He could fit probably in the space between the two chunks, but I kind of like them all being in within one chunk. It makes it easier to know what chunks are being loaded. So, I mean, this guy's supposed to do a 3x3, three three, and I think that he does, but just you need the first chunk loaded to be the chunk with the controller. So, just things to keep in mind. It's just easiest if that goes. So, honestly, I would probably try to avoid external storage don't go for lots of different drawer controllers like I did. Centralize it. It's just going to save you so many headaches with the drawers not working and stuff. So. Alright. So. I do have an idea for how to do better rune crafting. They do have the blocking mode that was removed from refined storage um, a while back. It's just a lot more complicated now. So I had a, a proof of concept in a test world. So. I may do that. I may not. I'm not sure. I'm waiting towards this being the end of the series. I mean, this all, I think, is going pretty well. And we largely do have, or have met, all of our goals. 
So, I did want this in another dimension, but um, the Goems became super derpy in another dimension, so I just think the dimension, the chunk loading isn't quite going as well as it's supposed to be. So, you know, I would not advise using different dimensions. If you want to go in Arturo's dimension, you kind of need to go all the way. Move your entire base. And I did not fuck moving all that. You know, it, 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 it wouldn't be like starting over, but man, it would probably be three to four hours to move all this stuff. I mean, it took me probably 45 minutes to move all this stuff back from the other world. I've done that twice now. So, you know, playing with these to get them to work. So... After finding a fix for some of the problems with the external storage, I want to clean up a few more things. So, uh, first off, I would like to start processing uh, Ardite and Cobalt in here. Now, I have set up an area in the nether as a quarry right now to get some of that, but that's not what I want to do overall. I've got a dimwit for Ardite ore and Cobalt ore. But rather than making an entire floor of it, I do also have the origin dimwit I've been looking for for a while too. So what I'm hoping for is we can get a mining world that has emerald and diamond and cobalt and ardite and everything else in a normal world. So to do that, we'll need um, a world that's basically like this one here, this Flat Hills mining world. So let's go back over there to that. And I'm going to take that world apart. So, he's doing fine right now. But, we're going to go ahead and turn this guy off and take him with us. So, let's go ahead and break this. And the chest. And the builder. And that guy too. So... I may or may not come back here. Probably not. I don't think I have another Extreme Hills biome right now. So we'll probably not have to just destroy this world. That's okay, though. So let's go home. All right. So what I want to do is take this world apart so we can rebuild him with different dim ones. All right. There we go. So, he's a single dimlet of extreme hills, and he's flat terrain. That seems fine. What I'd like to see, though, is Ardite and Cobalt Ore with the origin. So, basically, what this is going to do is say, well, in addition to the ores we're already generating, normally, I want you to make Cobalt and Ardite in this world, too. I'm not sure this will work or not, so... Let's find out. So first we're going to have to realize the world. Let's see here. Okay, it's rather expensive, but um, it's only for the creation cost, really. So let's go stop the nether quarry. Because if it's working, I want to know that it's working. And all I'm going to find that out is if we get stuff in here. Let's see here. Yeah, I think what we're going to do is just basically turn you off. And I'll leave you here for now. Let's see. You are a solid fortune quarry. That's fine. That's what I want. All right. Are you realized yet? Almost. I do. I did add the Flux Networks mod in here. So there may be a better way to do, you know, wireless transfer than what we've been doing. So, okay, this guy has a lot of power. So let's go ahead and favorite him, and we'll dial that once. Okay. Huh. Interesting world type. Not quite what I thought it would be either. Alright, is this just... 
what it is. Are there any ores in here? We may have to do some tweaking to this world. This may not work out for us. Let's go back home and check on the world traits. So we'll get this dimension out and we'll shift right click. Okay, so the base block is chiseled stone. I don't really want that. It says extra ore, artite, and cobalt. Everything else seems fine. Let's just change the base block to stone. So we're going to need a material demo of stone. I don't want cobblestone. I don't want red sandstone. I want just regular stone. Well, guess what? We'll to make one of those. Let's get a material absorber. This should be rather cheap to make, obviously. So, uh, let's see here. Let's get rid of these stone stairs. I did set up a receiver down to a uh, new Nether portal, and it's also where the Grains of Infinity are being created. So, that's good too. Yeah, I just I wouldn't want a bunch of that just in the system. Where's my stone? Way up there, isn't it? Okay. And I set this guy out here somewhere. Yeah, right here. Okay. So put the stone and the stone. Oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Uh -oh. Um, I guess it's okay. Yeah, it, it it went a bit down far I thought it was gonna go. Didn't think about that. This stone's pretty basic, but that's okay. That's okay. We can replace the stone that was lost. It's not a big deal. Okay, there we go. We've got that. Got the stone. Let's go fix the stone that we just broke. Do that again. I'll remember not to put that near stone. Maybe. Nah, I probably won't. Alright, so let's take a nap real quick. And let's see if we can fix the world. So all we should have to do for the base block is change it from not having a specification to having one. So I've got you in there. Let's extract that. So, single biome. We need to make a stone. Chiseled stone, sandstone, here we go. Stone, that's what I want. There we go, okay. So if we do that, it should get us material stone as the base block. Okay, so it's ready, I forgot the name, that's okay. We'll fix that later. Let's unfavorite you. And we're gonna dial this guy once. No, I don't want to favor you, I want to dial you. But before we do that, let's go take a look at the traits, just to make sure nothing else weird is going on. Alright, it is stone and water. Train is flat. Controller single. Origin. There are some structures in here, and we don't have a fixed time anymore. It's okay. Don't need that. Everything else, I think, looks okay. So let's go ahead and... Take a look at the dimension. Okay. Looks a bit better. And yeah, there's a village right over there, too. Well, how nice. What a convenient village. There might be lots of villages around here because of how flat this land is. And there's a, you know, village generation. But, yeah, this should work. So, what I want to know is, does it actually give us cobalt and ardite? 
Let's make sure you are set to output. All right, we are at the right place. Yeah, let's put it at the northwest corner, which should be fine. Put the chest back on here, and we're going to chunk load this area. Okay. So, yeah, we're going to restart this guy. Okay. I see some marble, some coal. I did see cobalt and ardite. Yeah. I were getting cobalt and ardite from here. Because this chest shouldn't be for anything else other than this world. Alright, cool. So, now we have a world that we can go mining in that is basically going to have just really pretty much every material we'd ever want. So, take a look real quick and see if anything else we want to do. I think everything else is fine here. Uh, we are in, you know, an extreme hill, so we should see emeralds as well. Don't know how many emeralds. We've got a lot of emeralds anyway, so I'm too worried about emerald, but... I think we get more emerald than we were getting right now. We could add that to the features, the origin. We could add diamond block and um, emerald block and increase the spawn rates. But honestly, we're pretty good right now, I think. So, let's go home. So, I'll keep an eye on that and see what it does. Where are we emerald-wise? We are at 23,000. So, not crazy amounts, but... Alright, that actually gets crazy amounts. It does make me wonder about the block types, though. I mean, why not get those materials? How much power are you using right now? 40,000 RF per tick. That's not bad, really. Uh, there's the block of diamond. And there's the demo for Ember. I guess we found one, too. Okay. I know I got a material absorber too for the diamond ore. Let's get that other emerald and break that next. We're gonna need we're gonna need the controller from that, the power something. Let's see if that's this world's any better if we make this new world. So let's extract you. Hopefully we'll get the yep, one of these guys. And now I want diamond ore. There we go. Diamond ore. Alright, so maintenance cost only 10,000 R per tick. That's not bad, really. So, let's go back over there real quick to World 4. Just, hey, we're, this is supposed to be just crazy insane amounts of stuff, right? Let's just, let's kick it up. Let's kick it up, let's kick it up to the top. All right, get rid of this and this and this. Okay, going back home. Now, let's see here. If we if we take this guy and put him in here, and we'll extract it. Interesting. I thought we'd put this material before that. It put it. It put it after that. I guess because for the flat terrain, that's what's up with bonifying. Okay. So diamond and emerald. And I'm gonna pull this guy out. Eh, well, I'll leave him here. I guess it doesn't matter. Okay. So there we go. 
Okay, creation cost is going to be pretty heavy. Which is why I'm thinking about getting the Flux Networks thing. Because we can only do uh, about 200,000 with that one Ender IO guy. So, not even doing enough to get him realized. But a Flux Network might do better. So I might have to look into that. I have not actually used that mod before, so I don't know how it works. I'm going to have to do a little bit of reading. But I think it would be better to have the flux points thing. It might remove the need for some cables too, which also would be kind of nice. So, all right. Yeah, I mean, there's no point in speeding it up. It's not going to. It's not going to speed up because it's going to. It's just, you know, it's kind of stuck where it is. Oh, I don't know if I mentioned this. Um, I noticed that the rainbow gen wasn't running like it isn't again. Nothing's running right now. Does that mean we're good on power? Yep, we've hit the 14 marks. We have pretty much a full tier 7 energy core, which is, yeah, almost 2 trillion RF. But um, I changed the pink generator to using these pink stained glass panes. We're simply not getting enough wool to keep him running very long with pink wool. So, you know, we used up all the string to make wool, and then I made the sheep farm, and that was all the wool, and I doubled the amount of sheep. There's 16 over here now, but it still isn't enough. We went through all the wool over here. I think glass panes might do better. Now, obviously, with that being full, it's hard to know, because how am I supposed to, to go through enough energy to figure out if he needs energy or not? I suppose I could destroy the energy core because then I'll lose all that energy, which, you know, I've never thrown away two, 2 trillion RF before, but realistically, he made it pretty quickly, so I'm not too worried about it. So, yeah, so realistically, oh, I'll fix it on for a second. So, yeah. So I could put him on at 15 and let him run for a little while. But realistically, I, I, I don't know why. In fact, you know, you could probably turn this guy on and off every once in a while, but it wouldn't matter that much. So he should just kick on and go off every once in a while. But I'll put him at 14, I think. And yeah. We'll always have around 2 trillion RF. Alright. Uh, let's take a nap. And then let's go take a look at... Should be realized by now, I hope. The dimension. Are you good? You're good. So, maintenance cost only 60,000 RF per tick. That's really good. So there we go. What do we have in here? Yeah. Okay. So we lost our villages. So won't be any villages in here. But... Um, and there's still no, there's nothing special about this world. It's pretty basic, but that's fine. That's what I wanted anyway. So I want to do one thing real quick that I want to name this guy. So we're just going to extract. You are Flat Hills Mining 4 now. And let's see here. Let's go ahead and... I may have to rename the uh, matter receiver too. Yeah. Basically, it's what it was before. So, flat. Uh, mining dimension four. Whatever. I don't know. Minia. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Okay, let's go ahead and break this guy. Put this guy down. Make sure you're in output mode. Get the builder. Get the chunk loader. Get the chest. Okay, it should be ignored, and we're going to restart. Okay. 
So let's watch him for a, a while. Okay, I see Ardite. I see Cobalt. Not seeing any emeralds, but you know, they're uh. See a bunch of diamonds though. Emeralds are super rare, even when you have the origin. Okay, I saw some emeralds. Okay, we are definitely getting emeralds in this world too. So, yeah. I would say it's going great. The only real question I have left is can our system keep up with this? Because I kind of think it might not be able to. Where are we? Going over here. Uh, nope. So, oh, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. I see lots of pulverizers not in use right now. They were all full before, but I guess, no, no, they're good. So if I look into ore, huh, nothing in co, I've got this cobalt ore. You should be being processed. Didn't I uh, set that up? Yeah, I did. So, are you guys filtered or something? You don't look like you're filtered. The down connection is an extract, always active, round robin. Is it possible you can't process this? Oh, you can't. Okay, I wasn't aware of that. Hmm. We can use the induction smelter. It would be slower, but it would work. That's, uh, that's really surprising. The signal can do it, but these guys can't do it. Huh. Well, might have to use the sag mill then. Okay, well, let's see here. So, you're a sag mill. You're probably an on demand sag mill. Okay, let's see about putting these in the upstairs sag mill. Let's go to the machine room. So you are a sag mill, and you've got those dark steel grinding balls. Okay, so... Yeah, you basically have nothing in you. Yeah. Let's, let's do that. Alright. Uh, maybe I should do it that way. Okay, so now we've got this cobalt powder. You are an alloy smelter. You are a redstone furnace. I think we're out of export sauce for the other furnace down here. We may have to use that guy up there, too. Yep, we're out of slots. Okay, um, yeah. Let's just use the furnace upstairs, because why not? I don't think we'll have as much of this as we have in other things, so... Are you not uh, auto-exporting? No, you're not. Okay. Now you are, though. Alright, you've got no filter. Let's get you a filter. Here's a filter. Okay. So you are going to export cobalt powder and ardite powder. Yep, and that lets you make cobalt and ardite ingots. Okay. That works for me. 
let's see here. Yeah, you're basically keeping up, aren't you? Okay. So, let's see about ores again. Down to 400. That, that's going pretty well. Got a bunch of diamond ore we don't really need to worry about. And some emerald ore. Bunch of Ardite ore, too. So, yeah. This is basically going correctly. So, Lapis, how come you're not being processed by anybody? Shouldn't you be in the, um... You need to be somewhere making rich slag, right? Shouldn't you be a rich slag guy? Not that we have or ever going to get very much of this, but still. So, where's my... Nope, that's an principle. And is it that guy? It's the pyro concentrator, right? That's what I'm looking for. Yeah, we get lots of lapis and we get uh, rich slag. Yeah, let's look at that real quick. Yeah, you're going for nickel. How come you're not going for lapis? There's no room, that's why. Yeah, I don't know why, but um, if you use a big item filter, it slows it down. I haven't tried advanced item filter. We might try that. That might be something to look into. Then again, we need rich slag, so not too worried about it. How are these guys doing? Yeah, I mean, I'd say they're keeping up. Yeah, this guy's definitely keeping up, so. Yeah, okay, cool. So, if they couldn't, though, we could use the Crusher from Extra Utilities. So, we could speed that guy up just like we played up the other guys. Again, you know, I have to get more grid power because although we've got a lot right now, this is just our passive drain. Any time it makes red coal, this thing uses like 1500 grid power. So. It's a little bit insane. Uh, can I not jump upstairs or something? Okay. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. Um, you know, for the briefest moment, Super Sound Muffler did not give me that air, but it went right back to making the air, so... I probably will not use that mod myself. I want to turn the gas, uh, the gas guy on. But, not a big deal. One thing I had considered, though, was combining these all into one room. Because I'm actually not sure why I made multiple I mean, this is, this is a reason for to make a multiple room. I've got this guy here, but the rest of them? Not really a need to have multiple rooms. So... I mean, I just want to find so many. Maybe I want to have more rooms to get keep extra guys around, which could be useful. But, yeah. And I was watching Direwolf stream recently, and he showed a way to use the, um, the Flux Sword from Resident Arsenal instead of the uh, Taker's Sword, which, that's a cool idea, too. It's probably actually better, because we could do a lot more enchants if we didn't have to use so many unbreaking things. So, uh, the only difference, though, is that I would have to recharge that eventually. Not sure how I'd do that. I'm sure he did it in his stream. I wasn't really paying attention, but I'm not sure how I'd do it. And that requires no mains whatsoever. So, that's kind of nice. All right. Did my dimensions ever get named? Yeah. Minia or Minia, whatever. Okay, so I've got one dimension, and the rest of them I don't care about. If you want to erase a dimension, RFT, dim, safe del, two. It says still in use. Really? I kind of don't believe that. I mean, 
It's not powered off yet. It's not it's not dead yet, but it should be dying. Oh, there was a block I wanted to make too, um, from Okay, if you have this guy on you, you will be able to see things. You will be able to keep uh, power even if the mission does not have any power. So that's not a bad thing to have on you in your basic dimension because then you, know, you won't die if you run out of power all of a sudden. So probably a good tool to have on you. Let's see, let's have a million RF. So. It would not last very long in a complex dimension, but, you know, it might save you from death if you kept this on your hotbar. You know, this is going down. If it's going down at all, get out of there. I'm not sure this guy is for. I want to crack him this real quick and see what he does. Let's go to another dimension. So you say you're still in use, huh? I don't really believe you. Let's find out. So, I mean, really, there's nothing going on over here that I can tell. So, here's my dimension monitor. Don't tell much about except how much power is in here. So, yeah. I mean, he's got tons of power, so I can't do much about that. But at least I can tell how much power is in him. So, that's kind of nice. I'm not sure I can't delete him, though. Maybe I have to wait for his energy expires, but that's going to be a long time. Alright, what about... What if I want to delete uh, three or four? Okay. Because all I really have is... These two, the world that I don't really want anymore, and the world that I do want. So, everything else is kind of fine. So, alright, well, that covers those things. We'll keep we'll keep that on us, and this is a nice tool to have, so maybe hang on to it on your, on your, in your inventory, just in case. You never know. Boy, you know, I have enough emeralds. I could make this, I could make the top tier of this guy now. Yeah, we could make a... Wow. Look at this. You can have 3,200 items per slot, 2... What is that? Billion? I think it's 2 billion. So, wow, that is crazy. Uh, let's get some green stained glass. I mean, hey, might as well, right? Alright, I want you... A lime glass. Um, I need that. And I need this. All right. Okay, so let's go ahead and get the top tier, right? There we go. Top tier of Dank Null that I don't really need, but now I no longer have to have any qualms about however much I, I, I gather if I was, you know, doing stuff. So if I want to, let's see here. Let me get some gravel real quick. Put my inventory slots just for a second. I should be able to easily take a bunch of dirt now if I need to make more platforms. It makes it a little bit easier. So there we go. So yeah, 7,000 dirt now, which is a little bit easier. Yeah, that's nice. And I'm pretty sure that the, what is that quarry called? The, not the Void Miner, the one from X Utilities. Uh, Void core. What is it called? This guy, wherever he is. I can't move to another name of it. 
Quantum Quarry. Yeah. He'll get me more dirt, so I shouldn't have any problem with that. So, yeah. So... This guy should be able to tell me exactly how much power we're using. Because he's going to pull the power from here. So, roughly 150,000 RF per tick. Which... I don't even know how it would take to use up 2 trillion RF at that. I have to... I, that math is mind-boggling, but, so, all right, yeah. Uh, I still haven't made the Batania tool, so I may do that. I rebuilt uh, this guy in case we want to fight more Gaia Guardians. Don't know that I do, but if I do, it'd be nice to have that. How are you doing, by the way? Yeah, you're, you're fine. Wait a minute. There are no trees over here. Maybe I need to put you on the whitelist. I was working before without it, but... Okay, that was weird. Okay, yeah, you know, I think I've seen that before, actually. I think I knew I had to do that, but... I mean, he was working. He worked for quite a long time without having that there. So... Yeah, whatever. Okay, fix that problem, too. So, yeah, I think everything's going pretty well now. I do feel we've come to a pretty good wrapping up point for the series. I hope you enjoyed it. I know I did. And I hope you learned something. Or if not, at least it was entertaining. So, for the last time, maybe. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. What the hell, hit the bell icon too. Maybe I'll do more stuff. I don't know. I have no idea when this episode will be coming out. It's January 20th right now, but uh, based on my recording backlog, I'm thinking it's not going to come out till June, July, maybe not even August. So, uh, 